Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you the difference between a magnetic uh, ballast and an electronic ballast. Both of those, both ballasts are, um, these are both for fluorescent lights, of course. Okay, they're, um, they're technically ballasts that you find in fluorescent patterns. Okay, this one here is magnetic or analog. This one here is um, electronic or digital. Okay, um, the difference really is technically, um, well, design. They're different in design. Okay, the, the, this one here is a CMP and this one here is an EAC brand. Oh, it's actually an Osram. Okay, this one here is made in Australia. This one's made in China. Okay, um, this one here is the, the, the design. This one here is made of metal. Okay, it's all metal design. Okay, um, and it is heavy. I think it weighs probably um, maybe a kilo or a kilo or probably two kilos. This electronic ballast here is all plastic. Okay, and it's um, very light. I think it weighs only like probably 500 grams. Okay, um, so the way these work is they technically um, regulate the flow of electricity which goes to the, um, to the tube. The tube being this, this thing here. This is your tube. Now this is an LED tube, but if I had a fluorescent tube it would be similar. Okay, now, um, now because fluorescent lighting is all going LED nowadays. There's not much of these left. Okay, the, the magnetic ballast actually dates back to, um, was actually used in fluorescent patterns around the world, probably back in the 1960s or probably earlier than that. And then the electronic ballast came around. I think this has came, been around since the 90s or perhaps later than that. I don't remember when they came out, but they've been around for a while. Both have been pretty good. <coughs> um, with the magnetic ballast, um, the baton, will have a starter, okay, a removable starter. With the electronic ballast, there is no starter because the starter is actually integrated into the ballast. So what that means is if something went wrong with the starter and the ballast, you have to replace the whole ballast. As with this one here, you just need to replace the starter. Now, now when you're upgrading to LED tubes, with the magnetic ballast, technically you can run any LED tube on it. The LED tube will come with a starter. You stick that starter in the baton and you trick it in and then you run it. You don't need to bypass the ballast. You can bypass it if you want. But it, but a lot of the time you can just keep it connected. Now for the electronic ballast, however, you are limited to what LED tubes you can run on it. Okay, because there are certain LED tubes that cannot be operated on this ballast. Okay, you need a special LED tube for this. Okay, which um, you know you probably may. I also got some T5 LED tubes recently, and those are suitable for electronic ballast. There are T8 ones suitable for this as well. Okay, now. Um, the way electronic ballast operates in a similar manner to a computer because it's like a computer board with all the, the gear mounted on it. As with this one here is technically just a curl of wires going around and around. Okay, this is technically similar to what you'd see on a, um, perhaps a transformer or a, um, or maybe even a dim switch or something along those lines. Okay, it's just a curl of wires going around in a circle. As with this one is just, not, just like a motherboard with capacitors and little ballast soldered onto it. Okay. Now, now a lot of companies um, that make battens, um, the fluorescent battens, which are fluorescent, is obviously still manufactured. Um, a lot of them have stopped using the magnetic ballast, and they've gone to this. Okay. I think the reason is because, well, magnetic ballast it is old technology. Okay, it is very old technology. There's the electronic ballast is actually a more newer technology because everything is going electronic nowadays, like books, um, your music and everything, like a technical. So technology has improved. Okay, so that's probably why, because this is an, anal an analog ballast, okay, and that's a, a digital ballast. So technically similar manners to cameras, like this would be probably like a film camera, this would be like a digital camera. So similar, similar affair. Okay, so you're comparing old to new, okay. So this would probably be like a fluorescent lamp and that would be like an LED, all right? Now, um, so the only problem is if you want to upgrade to LED, sometimes you want to, if it's not, if the tube is not suitable for the electronic ballast, you would need to rewire the baton to make it suitable, okay? If you, unless the LED tube is compatible, okay? Now on the ballast here, it will show you how to wire it up, okay? It shows you how to wire it up. You have your tube and you have two wires. Normally there'll be probably two blue wires, a brown wire and another blue wire. Okay, you got your power in, you got your neutral, your live, and your earth. So this one has earthing. As where this one here, you just have two wires. You'll have a brown wire, which will be going to the lamp, and a brown wire that will be going to the terminal block. Okay, so 
And the neutral wire will be going to the lamp holder, the earth wire will be going to the chassis of the baton. Okay, so that's technically the difference, okay? Um, this ballast here is suitable for an F18 T8, F24 T8, and an F26 T8, or an F28 T8. This one here is suitable for an F18 T8. It'll also run T F20 T12, because I've actually run F20 T12 on these and it works fine. Okay, um, now the T5 ballasts are actually longer than this. Okay, but this is just one that's the same size. They are the same footprint. If I put them back by back, you can see they are the same footprint. Okay, now the date, now the element battens, the new element battens, the rate of active sun, iron, um, air, earth, and water, they all came with electronic ballasts. Okay, and what I did was I reconfigured them to run the magnetic ballast because I find the magnetic ballast to be more reliable. Okay, because these electronic ballasts, um, yeah, they actually do fail, okay? Um, I see a lot of T5 battens with these actually fail because um, the ballast has failed, okay? Uh, compared to the magnetic one. Now, the magnetic ballasts do fail, but they are um, not as much, okay? But with everything all going LED, you don't have any of this technically. So the LED tube has got a ballast integrated into it. Now, with the um, since I got coloured early tubes for the element battens, I have since taken the ballast out of them, except for the fire and the water, since I haven't got any LED tubes for them as of yet. Okay, so I just took them out. Because if you take this out, this is weighty, and it does make the baton lightweight, and this is lightweight too. Okay, it's almost like an iPad or something. Okay, now this one here I can't really open up to show you what's inside, but this one here I can, okay, because it's got a back cover that just comes off, and I thought we'd take open it up and take a look inside. That's why I've got the screwdriver out. Uh, so I'll just take this off. Okay, take that off just like that. Inside there, you can see it looks it looks just like a computer board, like something you find in your PC or in your uh, your Mac. So let's take this out. Oh, it smells weird. It's got a weird smell to it too. Okay, so here's the the board itself. See, it's almost like a motherboard, something that you'd find in your computer. Okay, that's why it's electronic. So on this board, we've got, looks like a whole heap of resistors. Although these are resistors here. Those little black things, if you can see them. Uh, there we go. You got your resistors right there. You got two capacitors right there. We also have two little, little ballasts or transformers. Now you can see these are actually just a curl of wires, as you can see. That's technically what's inside this, okay? It's basically just all that, okay? Now you have your 240 volt in line, the power comes in here, and the power goes out here to the tube. Okay, now, and you also have another capacitor here, and it looks like that's a capacitor. Then you have this thing, I have no idea what this yellow thing is, if anyone knows please tell me. Then we have these red things, and this green one, another red one here, two more green ones, another one red one there. Um, we have this little blue thing, and this blue thing here, uh, you see that there? I have no idea what those are, if you know please tell me. Um, then we have these things, which I have no idea what those are. And then we have this thing. I have no idea what that is either. So, so that's technically all that is, all there is inside the electronic ballast. That's technically all this is regulating the power flow and converting it into a power to power your tube. Now, with LED tubes, you need a special LED tube to operate on this, as where any LED tube can be operated on this old thing. And on the back, you can see everything there. See all the way it's all connecting and all going out to the, to the tubes there. Okay. It's all soldered on just like the motherboard in your computer. So, so yeah, so it is just like a computer. Okay, so I'll put this back together. This just slides in here. And this back cover just goes on. Okay. So that's basically the difference between a, an analog or magnetic ballast and a digital electronic ballast. Okay. So, so hopefully that's given you a little lesson on what the differences are. And, um... Would I go one or the other? You know what, I actually um, like the magnetic ballast just because it's easier to run LED tubes on it. Okay, it makes easy LED cap cap compatibility. Okay, and it is also blink happy. So uh, the very old buttons had a different look of ballast like this made by AJ Ferguson. It used to be a big black chunk and that thing was a lot heavier than that. Okay, but that's um, one that you've come and find. You can still buy these, they still make them. You can still buy them, okay. Uh, but now mostly, um, you can still get battens that still have these, but not as much as this, okay? So, um, so that's the um, magnetic and that's the electronic, so that's the difference. So I hope you enjoyed, and that'll be it.